it just cut off for a second. Yeah. You ain't missing nothing. So we yeah. pause. <laughs> you, you can't let y'all miss none of this. For real. <laughs> um, well, if you get with the mind, then yeah, the body and everything right. falls in That's place. Right. Everything falls in place. And this is why when we go to the gym, excuse me, mm -hmm. this is why when we do our exercise, people say, I'm going to work out my legs today. Yeah. People say, I'm going to work out arms. Mm -hmm. We don't do a lot of that isolation type of stuff. Mm -hmm. The body functions as That's a whole. A right. When we talking about the core, I've been, I've been we're not about, just talking about mm -hmm. abs, abdomen or ab muscles. Right. Right. I know, he I know what you're talking we about. We did it in. <laughs> you know, that whole body. We from the exactly body weight training. About. We're not mm -hmm. doing no weights. If we don't, we're probably doing some kettlebells, but we don't right. promote the weights because over time that puts stress on your joints. joints yeah. And again, mm -hmm. after a certain age, if you're not a bodybuilder, yes, right. if you're not a career professional sports player, you don't need to be lifting, benching 400 pounds. Nah. Right. You just want to lift groceries. That's you right. just want to play That's with right. the grandbabies, right. you know? Come on, man. I want to be functional as I'm getting, growing older in age. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be walking around limping or breathing <laughs> heavy trying to get from my front when porch to the to car yeah. come on man you know it's, it's, yeah. but again because everything now is trendy it's quick everything now mm -hmm. is a quick fix the yeah. same amount of time or just as much of the same time that you put into your unhealthy lifestyle we yeah, might have to spend it. twice the amount of time. twice the amount as that that's right if you yes. dedicate it with mind body activism you won't have right. to spend as long or you won't spend as long but we got to do and utilize the same amount of effort that we put into being unhealthy to getting back healthy Right. It doesn't happen overnight, people. All these programs out there, quick fix, get get six pack abs in two days. <laughs> it don't happen like that, man. No, I'm still trying. I love the I'm still man, trying. Man, they said two days. I'm, I'm just saying. I think it's like been that. about four or five years. I'm still trying. <laughs> but they package that stuff very well. Yes, yeah. they, they, they package they it very well. The they got like a ten pack. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't I'm look like doing that. that. You get six packs. <laughs> yeah, man. A lot of those people are actors. It's, yeah. It doesn't work like that. Oh, come come on, Hollywood. They, they already yeah. had their little needles. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, they already right. had right. their right. little yeah, needles. Yeah, that's the other side of yeah, it. The drugs the other side of that, that are in yeah. food and the drugs that people take when they mm -hmm. can't deal with. Uh, again, this is, goes to the psychological side of fitness and exercise and wellness. I have certain people who will say, Divine, I don't like being around people. Can I do a personal session? Right. Mm -hmm. So again, being a health coach or a person who really cares about their craft, mm -hmm. I have to approach it differently. Everybody doesn't want to come out in the park and get it in the, in the group. Right. If trainers are not prepared to deal with that, when a person calls them and says, well, I, I really want a personal session. I don't want nobody to see me. Mm -hmm. right. You got to go break through those layers. Exactly. Yeah. Why, yeah. I don't want to be around them other ladies. Mm -hmm. right. I don't feel timid or whatever. Right. Yeah. right. I don't want to be around them brothers, man. They all look like they can get it in. Mm -hmm. So once you break through those layers, and we have, mm -hmm. uh, even though I still have some people that want just yeah, personal, personal training, training sessions, yeah. there are some who we've broken down that barrier, and they're out there with us, and they're enjoying it. That's what's up. And okay. a lot of trainers don't don't approach it that everything is just come come on to the gym, get on a weight bench, get on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, man. That's <laughs> come on. They really, really not have to really care. Take, yeah. Yes. So as a physical trainer, um, personal trainer, do you actually put together meal plans for some of your uh, your clients? That's the number one question. I don't. I'm not a fan of meal plans. Okay. I am not because, one, um, I promote health and wellness as a lifestyle. And mm -hmm. unless I'm watching over you 24 hours, no. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to be telling you to eat a certain thing or offering you a good meal. I want to know that you're following that. Right, right, right. 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 See, I can basically right. follow what you're doing when it comes to me seeing muscle development. Right, active, right. I can see that, physical, yeah, right. but I'm not there with you at uh, nine o'clock at night when you splurging on some Halo form ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> you know, I'm not there with you. Some of the best ice cream in the world. Okay, okay, <laughs> man. I know. I, I gave him a shout out already. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I'm not there with you when you're splurging late night on what you're splurging on. Yeah, so right. I do promote. Uh, Offering a per person advice on when they should eat, how they should eat, mm -hmm. what they should eat, mm -hmm. and how they should prepare their bodies, their internal environment to take in what they're eating. Mm -hmm. Certain foods don't go with certain foods. People right. are eating right. Uh, right, right, right. starches That's with true. acid foods. People are eating acid foods with uh, uh, greens. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't work mm -hmm. that way. Right. Mm -hmm. Your body has to be, even though it's going to utilize it, mm -hmm. but I want it to utilize it efficiently. Like that Range Rover I talked about. Mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. to put super 
fuel in there. Mm -hmm. Right, so it runs properly. Exactly. Why would I put something in it? Why would I put sugar, water, and then pour some soda in it? It's, it's, it's not going to, it's going to move, but it's going to get me about six miles down the street when I'm trying to go 60 right. miles right. down the street. Right. So, so we're talking about eating. Yes. Um, you know, the state has its own regulations on the food and stuff like that. Yes. That they give the kids, and you know, um, I have experience that that food is not right. Um, <laughs> right about because that. Because <laughs> if you're going to give me a muffin, you're going to give me, no, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. You're going to give me a hot dog with bread, right? <laughs> Then you're gonna give me some mashed potatoes. Another <laughs> starch. Right. Then you're gonna give me corn. Which is another starch. <laughs> then you're gonna give me a fruit cup. Yeah. You know the sugar. Yeah. Which is so I can't see how that's a healthy meal. Right. And then you may give me string beans, not fresh from the can. Right. <laughs> Preservatives. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, you know, I, I had, you know, I have some issues with that. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me. Lord, What's help happening, me. Asia? Okay. <laughs> Let me go back over here again. That's but okay. the whole thing I, I got there, you is, is how our children eat and what they eat. Right. And if we as a nation are supposed to have their best interests at heart, uh, we still got to change the food. Right. But the other thing I know is that certain areas get certain food that's right yeah that's true that's right it's like certain areas get certain so i'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, let you hit on that and i'm going well. let me well. get this there's a lot of things going on i apologize that's but okay. we have a lot of things going on i have a young lady that walked in um but luckily we, we made live, a phone call we and the Life person was on. found and um we love that so beautiful all beautiful. right was that so with I'll the alert start. that went out yes that, that's okay good good out. good salute okay. everybody got the little children back with them and they safe and sound um, yeah, what she's talking about is important because, again, in these inner city areas, we're not given the best products. They call them food deserts because you don't find the best products in these stores that we go to. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, though, we have the wherewithal to shop at a Whole Foods. We do. We have the money. We just have to make the effort. Like, we put the effort in other things. But, again, ShopRite, which is close to us, now has, what, four aisles that are health and wellness. They call it the nutrition yeah, center, the yeah. wellness center, yeah, yeah. where you can but go and get the product. Maybe, maybe the well, it's, it's, yeah, true, <laughs> true, I was, true. I was down the other day, looking for some, um, uh, the, the gava uh, syrup. Yes, yes, the gava, yes, yes, yeah, yes. The blue, uh, the blue gava, yeah. Uh, my tea. Think yeah. about it. You walk into a grocery store. Why would they even call a section the health food section? What are they implying? That yeah, other stuff ain't yeah, healthy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why would one section have to be called the health, health food section? Yeah. Think about this, people. You go into any store, mainly these supermarkets, though. There, You say, yeah, where's the health food? You can be pointed, directed to the health food. What is that implying to me as a consumer? That this other stuff in here is not healthy? That makes sense. Come on, that man. That makes sense. And again, what the sister is saying here, what they're giving these children in the schools that our children are mostly at, right. a lot of this food, I can't really even call it food. It's, it's byproducts of things that are probably left over. And by the time it reaches the plate or the cafeteria and then to the plate for these children, the children don't know. Yeah, They're yeah. going to eat. They're hungry. They want to eat. But imagine if they were given what I know some of these schools in Princeton and West Windsor and Lawrence. I know they have chefs in them. And some of those chefs are plant-based chefs. Right. Some of those chefs get their... Uh, products from or an organic garden that they have or they have an, uh, an affiliation with. That's happening around the Trenton community. Not in the Trenton community, but it's Everywhere happening else. around the Trenton community. The it's happening in some else. of these townships where, again, there's a different tax bracket, there's an economic standpoint and perspective or whatever, but our children deserve better just like anybody else. Exactly. But on the flip side, I'm not going to leave it up to the school system. I'm not going to leave it up to the political system. I'm, I'm going to do, again, what I'm supposed to do as an individual, family, community, and nation. Exactly. And I have to get with people of like mine, like yourself, like Howard's Healthy Choices, to make a, a nice unit of, a, a, a healthy unit 
of organizations that can do what we need to do to get organic apples to our children every day, an apple a day, to get organic gardening products to our children every day. Not from these gardens that they got. Uh, listen, <laughs> it's beautiful, a community garden and all that, but a lot of these gardens, if you ride past them, stops in the avenue, uh, what's that back there on uh Perry Street, Perry Street. On, on, come on, you got pests all over the place, raccoons, all this stuff running around Trenton. We need to create preserved spaces where we go and do what Some we need to do when it comes to the land. Exactly, yeah, man. So. so stop making it seem like because we have a garden or we done planted some community garden somewhere that it goes the, the, the <laughs> okay, it's cute, but what what do we what's happening when that food is finally prepared? And we start eating it. We're still getting the same issue that a person who's eating meat is getting because the 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 soil is not wholesome. Mm -hmm. We're not. We don't know what they. We don't know what they're doing to the dirt over there on Stuyvesant Avenue. We know what the area looks like. So exactly. nine times out of ten, where that where those vegetables and stuff are growing at soil. is going to have an and issue. Houses and stuff are Come old on, man. Shit. Right. Yeah, I mean, so it, we, we we have to approach it differently. We need our we need a separate space that we can really do what we need to do as health and wellness professionals right. that's what we want to call, call ourselves all of it is part of the process all of it uh we can connect the dots in different areas but if we really serious about the health and wellness of ourselves our families and our communities mm -hmm. we really got to get down to it everybody and stop playing with it because it's serious we're dying too young too young and all we have to do is exercise. Not all, but a majority of what we have to do is just Keep exercise me, yeah. and fuel our bodies properly. And this is something that we can control. You and I don't control how the police might act out here in the community, mm -hmm. but, but we can speak against it. We can still rally and do what we need to do. We don't control how they educate us. We educate ourselves. Yeah, exactly. We don't control what the politics do. We don't control nothing outside of this. We can control what we put in our bodies. Exactly. We can do that. We can't do that. If, if, not, okay. nothing, else, definitely if do nothing that. else, you can control <laughs> what you're doing to your body. So we talked a little bit about the um, the, uh, the program that you bring into the school, which you said is starting next month. Yes, in October. Uh, yes. So I got a three part question for that. Yes. All right. Um, what's the name of the training program that you bring into the trans? Uh, it's still going to be mind body activism. All right. Uh, what type What type of uh, training will you be doing? What type of uh, work, work has been showing the kids? Okay, it's it, it's a mix. Mostly everything we're doing is basic fitness program type. However, we, we, will, we will infuse it with uh, people already familiar with things like HIT, high intensity interval training, which is a shorter workout, 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Get your metabolism raised up and all that. Get your heart rate up, cardio going on, get you some strength training or whatever. Right. But also in our program, we infuse life skills development, which can affect their behavior that some of our children might be dealing with. Some of the issues, not just behavior, because everybody doesn't have behavior have issues. Some of them might have you. issues that they might be dealing with when it comes to self-esteem. Right. We saying, not only are you going to be able to do a push-up, you'll learn how to do a push-up. And once you learn it, you'll feel good about yourself. But you're also pushing up your character. You're also pushing up your attitude and your personality, CAP. You're also wearing that cap. Your thinking cap. That's where the giant thinking program comes in at. Bartenders, giant thinking. You see that light bulb? That means your thought. Exactly. Your light is always illuminated about yourself while you're wearing that cap. Your character, attitude, and personality helps you navigate through certain issues that you might be dealing with in your family, that you might be dealing with in the community. So what we've taken with exercise, fundamental fitness, is infused life skills development. Pull up your character. Dip your head in the book doing dips right. you're dipping your head in your book you know so you can deal with the social economic issues that are happening in your community but you cannot do any of that if you don't have character if you don't have attitude and personality right so that's mainly what we're putting in the program when we get into the school man and, and last year we had an awesome um pilot program that was run out of the gregory school and who was brought to me was the what they consider the most problem children <laughs> brother <laughs> You're not going to tell me no two, no second grader is a problem. You're not going to tell me that a fifth grader is it's a problem. problem. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Once that's, I pulled out that pull-up bar, brother, and the toughest one that they consider the toughest, the wildest one, the one that gives all this fourth grader, giving all these teachers problems. 
I had that pull-up bar out, man. This brother is spelling his pulling up, spelling my name. My name is Devin, and I love character, attitude, personality. My name is Sean, and I'm about pulling up my character. My name is Shantae, and I'm about pushing up my attitude. Man, come on, brother. This, 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 come give, on, him, give him something to do to look forward Give him to. an outlet. Yes. And it was one set, set, setting I was in when I was when it was time to leave, and I was packing up everything. One of the young brothers, man, his little smooth, his fourth grader's name is uh, Anthony. My little brother, he was a cool brother. He said, um, <laughs> he said, Mr. Divine, man, you don't think you walking. He said, I know you got muscles, but we ain't going to let you walk out here with all that stuff by yourself. <laughs> little fourth grader, it, it shocked me, you know. So he went and got the other little crew that he rose with after school, and they didn't want me to carry nothing out the building, man. Respect. Come on, Respect. man. If that can happen. Come on, brother. It's respect, man. That's what we got to man. teach our kids, man. Come on. And give them something constructive to do. That's why. That's I, it. You know what I mean? You want to have this problem. That's it. You want to see what I'm talking about the problem child. Hey, come on, <laughs> brother. It, it, it can be done, man. We just have to you be gotta concerned. Invest our, yeah, you got to invest yep. in our children, man. That's the thing. That you, and they man. have to see that you care. Exactly. With us, it's not just a program that pops up. Exactly. With us, again, they That's can feel it so when we so walk so. in the room. This this brother really cares. They see, they see the energy. They see it right. They see the energy. That's right. So the third part of that question is um, how um, how will other schools get in touch with you to bring your program to that school? Good question. Real good question. Trenton, we we, we took some time, man. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to do a different kind of push with uh, which I don't think will take as much time as we did with Trenton. Right. Uh, politics and things of that nature As surround always. the Trenton <laughs> School District. Understood, but salute to Miss Grady and Brother Gene Bowie who kicked some doors down for us. Sister Micah, uh, my sister Stephanie Bradbury who helped alone uh, put some of this documentation together. Always my brother Solomon, my brother O from Ike Williams Boxing Academy. We have a team that inspired a lot of this this wasn't just me per se right right yeah um, gotta have a team for them to do anything yes. like this. but these other school districts they work a bit faster when it comes to it's when they help. see something that they know is important for their children and the development of their children when it comes to tests and all of that so any school can give us a call right now any school district trenton school district already has it we're waiting to get thousands and thousands of these into all the schools that are in Trenton. This is starting at the Trenton, the main campus, and some of them will be at the ninth grade academy. But um, the one thing I want to point out is not just a pamphlet where you can just put to the side. It's interactive. Well, I see that the crossword puzzles and everything. Yeah, crossword mm -hmm. puzzles. A lot of people would bring their children to the training session, mm -hmm. and they'll just have their children running around. I say, nah, dude. Yeah, we got some something. doing something <laughs> and some of the words are dealing with what we're working out on we talk about wellness termination determination some of the little babies that was doing a word they <laughs> word sir they was like mommy you committed i found committed mommy <laughs> Good. oh mommy you get your progress mommy you doing that this is what they were doing while we were working out so mm -hmm. i said all right let's put this in the booklet also mm -hmm. and even more interactive we have a test a little you know fit focus health form okay. can you fill in the blank fruit and vegetables contain a wide variety of different nutrients with properties that can make it more difficult for blank to develop. There's A, B, and C. If you get the right answer, you can go onto our Facebook or our Instagram page and we'll give you a bartender's t-shirt. Okay. We'll or we'll bring you a bag of organic apples to your classroom. Interactive. Mm. And we have something that shows, this is a picture of me doing a push-up talking about proper form. Mm -hmm. right. Now imagine seeing you and you a principal of a school. See, next we're talking about, I think we'll put Miss Grady and she'll be doing maybe a squat and it talks about a squat. Mm -hmm. Or we might have one of the students that's in the school. Right. When right. children right. see themselves, yes. now they want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So again, we're trying to make this informational, mm -hmm. inspirational. We have the numbers there that talks about childhood obesity. We talk about how to get involved with exercise, keeping yourself active throughout the day. And we also have how you can make a difference in mm -hmm. the lives of your children back to you were talking, right. what you were talking about when it mm -hmm. comes to the food right yeah. if you're going to give your children sweets set aside a certain time of the week not the day, day. Yeah. <laughs> the week, you know, stop rewarding your children with sweets every day oh you made the honor roll let's go get some ice cream yeah that shouldn't be the catalyst to want a children want a child to continue being on the honor roll mm -hmm. so again it, it, this is awesome this is dynamic and everybody that's gotten their hands on it, the, the few people who've seen it. Hybrid and 
Oh, brother, this is all. Well, I was going to do a political yeah, side yeah, of things, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, right, you, listen, you have people that listen. come on here, they writing books with music and right, all that. Right, right. And, and they don't understand the, the, the business part of what they have to do. The reason why this does not have to be copyrighted. Mm -hmm. Mind body activism is our trademark. This this mm -hmm. belongs to us. Right. Exactly. But the information is out there. Already. It's already, it's already yeah. developed. We just decided to put it in a book form. Book form. And present it to the, to the, to the, present it to the public. Yeah. The information is out there. Yeah. But years ago when they came out with the Dare booklet, mm -hmm. that that information wasn't copyrighted. The information was out there. They just right. took it and put it in a booklet and, and they, they created a program around it. it. Exactly. Right. And it's now what, 35 years in the game. Yeah. And they can come to any school and talk about don't do drugs, don't smoke right. tobacco and all that type right, of stuff. Right. And our our whole thing is when somebody uh, wants to utilize this book, they can call us and say, well, hey, I'm looking at page eight in this book. Can I utilize some of the information? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Now, what the Board of Education did, which was profound for us when we're talking about copywriting and trademark, right. this here now is part of the curriculum. So now I can uh, promote this to other schools to be used as a part of their health and physical okay. education department okay. curriculum. Mm -hmm. So that's when it comes to what's copyrighted, copyrighted. and things no, of that no. nature. No. Our program is trademarked. Our program is copyrighted. Well, the booklet itself yeah. is but the public, booklet itself itself is public, is public, public information. information. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we designed it in a way where it's some of it is all mind body activism information, like the word search posts. I right. created those. Mm -hmm. Some of the other information is, is information we put together and uh, we made it user friendly that's why we call it fit focus mm -hmm. fun activity mm -hmm. so not only do children need it a parent can use this mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. a doctor's office can utilize this mm -hmm. you go and catch a flight and utilize it exactly come on yeah. it's, 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 like I said, user friendly mm -hmm. it's for everybody man it's for everybody i love that bro that's a good thing. i love that yeah so, so they're gonna put this Throughout the school system, every the, grade the new, high school, new high school first. Yes, and then we're okay. going to get it to all the other schools, schools. in the coming years. Okay. They actually, um, in their budget, I can talk about it now, Miss Grady. Uh, <laughs> it's it's on the Board of Education website. The mm -hmm. recent uh, superintendent, it's been added to the uh, Board of Education budget. A small budget now because they right. only wanted a certain amount of booklets to see how it goes Close. for the first part of the year. Mm -hmm. um, as the school years go on, especially with the new school. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to get thousands upon thousands and thousands of these throughout the Trenton School District. Okay. Eventually, we're going to do Princeton, mm -hmm. West Windsor, Lawrence, and also, like I said, this is tied to our mind body activism bartenders, B A R T E N D A Z program, <laughs> where we teach a person how to have healthy drinks at the pull up bar, yes. not at the bar that's out there in the community. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, tied, this is tied to a larger curriculum that we are still developing but mm -hmm. some of it has already been developed and we put that all in the packet that we give to the schools why the fit focus activity booklet is needed and just right. a few other points it talks about one it offers an integrated approach to confront address and improve student behavior mm -hmm. it offers assistance to students who may need help staying focused mm -hmm. it offers uh and it serves as an adaptable outline for curriculum development and physical mm -hmm. education it links student learning to a broader health and fitness arena which mm -hmm. means if you have a gym class or a physical education class, the teacher might have run out of uh, programs to do for the students at right. a certain time of the year. So why right. not bring in a personal trainer to run your class for a day, mm. to do a hit session, mm -hmm. to do a little circuit session? Right. Mm -hmm. See, this is how you include the community. If That's you're right. a physical education chief teacher, open up your doors to somebody from Planet Fitness or Mind Body Activism mm -hmm. or Ike William Boxing mm -hmm. Academy. Yes. See. Yes. That's how you engage yes. people who are in the craft. Yes. And you're not just utilizing and using up your people that you have every day, all day. That just might be mm -hmm. some of these teachers are tired. They don't know how to, I mean, some of them are creative, but they run out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah. months of school, they run out of stuff to do. Yeah. So engage your community in a way where you know you're going to get something beneficial from it. And that's another reason why this was created. That's good. Yeah, so it's, That's good. It's, 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 it's simple. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it took some time because, again, uh, what we talked about earlier, unfortunately, the school system is designed in a way where they don't want a radical revolutionary approach. Mm -hmm. So I had to go in my little quiet time, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. being who I am when it comes to my <laughs> nationalist thinking. Yeah. Um, how can we get up in here? How can we leave something behind when we're not here anymore? Mm -hmm. This here is 
a mm -hmm. legacy for exercise and fitness for years to, in the, come. For for years years to come, come, where the divine yeah. is around or not. Mind body activism is now branded, branded in the system. They will still be saying, I'm pulling up my character once we're gone. Mm -hmm. They're still going to be saying, I'm pushing up my attitude once mm -hmm. we're gone. And that's in the curriculum. So as a Black Panther, I necessarily, I, I, I I probably wouldn't have been able to get into the school, right. <laughs> even though we were there uh, at some, some sometimes. I remember we were trying to put the red, black, and green flag up for Black History Month at the mm -hmm. old Trent High, right. and you know they had some issues, um, even though they raised it at City Hall. Mm -hmm. But why not have a red, black, and green flag? It symbolizes Black pride, mm -hmm. Black self determination. Yes. Yes. Most yes. of your students are a Black population. Exactly. Why? Hey, if you have every other culture. Put up those They'll cultures flags right. too. Yeah. They yeah. want to see themselves so, in the picture. Mm -hmm. It makes life a bit easier when I walk into the school and I see me being great. great. I yeah. see me living great. I see me living a sense of a, a degree of purpose. Right. So we had to come through the back door. Yeah. Through the back window. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got with Miss Grady. Mm -hmm. We got with Mr. Uh, Gene Bowie down at the yeah. Trenton board, mm -hmm. Sister Michael, who works out with his regular, she's the nurse's administrator. Mm -hmm. And now Ms. Grady, who was our gym teacher, That's she's right. the health administrator over there. Yes. She's the athletic director. director. Yes. All right. she had to do was see this and say, brother, listen, your reputation precedes you. Mm -hmm. The program speaks for itself. Exactly. How can we get this in mm -hmm. the hands of our students? They know who you are, Divine. They love when you walk through that door. Mm -hmm. Your program is awesome. What can we do? You know, we start talking about budget and things of that nature. They, you, know, <laughs> you know, it slowed the meeting slowed down a little bit. But uh, hey, man, uh, and most of what we have been doing and will still do is for free. Yeah, people don't mm -hmm. care how much you know till they know how much you care. Yeah. I care enough mm -hmm. to say, man, I want this in the school. You don't have to pay. Mm -hmm. This needs to be in those babies' hands because yes. I know the impact. Mm -hmm. That's your trigger word. The impact, impact. Yes. it has. Yes. However, since there are budgets that are out there mm -hmm. to address childhood diabetes, diabetes. Right, to address right. childhood obesity, mm -hmm. it wouldn't hurt to fund and budget 20,000 copies of these to get them in the school system. And now, no, on top of that, you know, your time, time is precious. money. Yeah, that's right. Time is money. That's right. Is it? Time is money. Time is money. You think so? Time is money. Time. Is it? Yeah. You can get time. You, you can get money back. Can't get you can't get time back. back. Can't get time back. I don't know if you but get I understand when people say, I don't know if you get money well, back. Well, people don't pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand what people <laughs> say when they say that. <laughs> well, I said time money. But, neither but, one can you really get back. What, what, what that really goes into saying is the amount of commitment I put What's into work, yeah. dedication. Right, the dedication yeah. that I put into that we put into making this work. There's no value. Right. There's no number. There is, right. But there are budgets out there that I know exist mm -hmm. that oh, people are sitting on going, yeah. that are not doing this. Right. We can make the lives of these teachers, a lot of these systems a bit easier if they just reached out and they really were aggressive in their effort of saying, I want that program here mm -hmm. and not worry about the politics of the yeah. individual. Yes. That's usually what slows us down mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. as a community. Yes. Right, I don't right, want to right. work with him because he he wears that red, black, and green. Right. His name Divine. I don't want to work with him. Right. Divine thinks this about the black community. Divine thinks this about politics. It's, it's, none of that is relevant. none of that is is, is, re is relevant in one sense. Right. But, but if the idea is to get our children to go from point A, a to, to point, point B, B to it's, Z, it's and you know that this program is wholesome. Yeah. This program, yes, it's inclusive. It's in your system. Mm -hmm. You know, I have my politics, but my politics does, doesn't necessarily guide and direct childhood obesity numbers. No. Those right. numbers speak for themselves. Right. We have That's a program right. that can factually get that. your children mm -hmm. to be at a, a weight where they can be healthy as they're growing. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so, you know, all that other stuff, man. Either way, we in the door now, mm -hmm. and we want more doors to open. We're striving to get more doors to open. So, so my progress. Especially, they like I said, when it comes to community and, and, and the children, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's no limit to it. You know what I'm saying, there's no, no stopping what we get willing, willing, to do, willing to do for our that's community. Right. Yeah. That's right. I mean, you gotta, you gotta I mean, people know me about yeah. it. Yeah. People yeah. need on, to man. know this that, is, uh, that there's people that. out here, organizations out here, that's about the children. That's yeah. right. It's like about the children. Choices. Yeah. Like Howard's Healthy Choices. And I, and I just this wanted is to a apologize. jewel here <laughs> in the community, man. I wanted to apologize um, for getting up and leaving. But, you know, when it comes to the kids, um, mm -hmm. I'm there. Everything right. stops. That's Everything right. Everything stops. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm song. glad that the alert that went out. Yes. Uh, I'm glad that the child was found. Yes. Um, Salute, y'all. Salute. 
Keep we have to safe. do that. Um, anytime, you know, we can help, um, you need to call us up. You Definitely. just need to call us up. Um, we, as somebody, a community, somebody, yeah, somebody, as a community, right, I mean, we right. we have to get those and, and start saying such and such is missing, da 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 da. Now you got to pass it through. Uh uh, who live in West Trenton? Call them up, pass right. it around. Yeah. Who live in the East Trenton? Same Trent? way we do pass everything it else. Around. Yep. <laughs> pass around. You could pass around the gossip. That's you could right. pass this around and to make sure that we get these children back that that are missing. Yeah, that's right. We, you know, it, it's, it's it's very important that we do that. And how we have the choices do. A lot of what, not a lot of what you do, because mm -hmm. we do it in a different way. Yes, no doubt. But we definitely want to connect with you. We already connected. And, and, I'm here. Yeah, that's right. Come on, say no hey, more. Hey, that's hey, a, and, you got and, and, and everything here has soul. our numbers on it. Everything. Mm -hmm. Let's let, let's get it, sis. We yeah, here. Yeah. Our doors are Most open. Definitely. I'm open to it. We have kids that um, they they like to the exercise, but okay. I want them to do it right. Yeah, we bring and, that pull up and, bar and, here and, is a wrap. <laughs> Well, I, I, no, I, got, I got some kids that, um, okay, because I had to pull up, you know, went on the door mm -hmm. and we do it in the basement, okay. And um, they was doing some stuff now. Was they doing it right? That's a different question. That's, that's a different, different that's a different okay. question. We'll get them there. We'll now, get them was there. they doing it right? We was doing yoga, we'll you know. I think our yoga was pretty on point, though. <laughs> yoga was on point. Uh, but they think going outside playing basketball or I'm exercising. Mm, not when you're telling me right. you're walking down the block. You're right, telling me right. your knee hurt, your back hurt, right. my feet hurt. And you only for the yeah. for that. Yeah, man, what you talking about? Right. You, right. We right. took a walk and we walked down there to the farmer's market. And <laughs> second block is oh, we got to walk down. I said, what are See? you talking about? See? Oh, Miss Howard, my back is hurt. What? Yeah, my not, knee hurt. Yeah, my legs are hurt. Yeah, we walk over long. the whole trend. I like, said, are y'all kidding? Yeah. And they like, yeah, I, I can't walk that far. That's too much. I said, yes, I'm now we're going to walk every Monday. I can't walk. We're like walking down here, far, but we far, walk far, around far. the blocks. You we will walk around the block. Got Y'all got to walk. Yes. I mean. You got to move. got to move. Movement awesome. is medicine. Yes. Man. You got to move. move. I would they love so to get boxed. They down the with phones and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Them phones really Yeah. Technology has. slowed us down. Yes. A lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. Yes. It does what it needs to do. On one end, so there's purpose. But on yeah. the other side, mm -hmm. it's created issues. You have people or young people obesity. now in their teens, not just obesity, they may mm -hmm. have issues with their shoulders, shoulders that I only would anything. see people who were 16, mm -hmm. 70 years old with. Yeah, yeah. they have arthritis, arthritis. Yeah. Yeah. arthritis yeah. in their fingers. And you 16? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. you talking about? <laughs> so yeah. again, we have to, one, as personal trainers, mm -hmm. we've Upgraded that word. We, I call myself a greatness trainer now oh, okay. because it's greatness right. in taking it first from A to Z, yeah. but letting them learn about what B means when you get from A to B. Mm -hmm. You get from B to C. Mm -hmm. We take them through all those stages, and that's that's what a greatness trainer does. Mm -hmm. Personal why trainer, right? Why are you exercise, moving this way? Exactly. Why I'm getting you to move your arm a certain way? Mm -hmm. Why I'm telling you about your shoulder? Mm -hmm. Why I'm telling you about your fingertips? Mm -hmm. Why I'm telling you about the heels of your feet? Mm -hmm. See, those are the things that are important when it comes to personal, personalized training, mm -hmm. not just saying, yo, let's go get some muscles or go get your beach body ready, right. <laughs> you know, or you get, let's get you ready for vacation. <laughs> I get a lot of that too. Divine, I'm going to Jamaica. I want my body. Okay. What about when you come back from Jamaica? Yeah. I mean, you know, all that yeah, food, yeah uh, come on. You know, you still want to be healthy, don't you? <laughs> yeah. So that's what a greatness trainer is. Right. So let's yeah. upgrade it. Personal trainers out there. We are greatness tra trainers. If you really understood what you do as a trainer, mm -hmm. as an instructor, as a coach, you are basically an extension of their doctor, mm -hmm. an extension yes. of their physical therapist. Yes. Just like a teacher is an extension of a parent yeah. at the home, mm -hmm. we are extensions of doctors, yes. which is why I got the MD as a divine a lot, movement doctor. Okay. Yeah. One more question before we wrap yes. it up. Um, you, you take on like interns? Definitely, brother. Okay. Yeah, that's what part of the program at the new high school is about. And also at Ike Williams. Come on, I'll let some of these young brothers and sisters shadow what we're doing so mm -hmm. they can learn the depthness mm -hmm. of Proper. training. Yes, yeah. when we talk about uh, showing a person how to have form mm -hmm. before they even touch any equipment. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you set up your environment, your space to have a person working out? There's something now called, um, which is one of my certifications, also uh, ergonomic, posture ergonomics. And um, <laughs> yeah, so the same they, thing. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. you have to know Gosh. one, yeah, how, how to how to sit straight, how to utilize your eyes, eyes. and your ears, mm -hmm. your glutes properly, so you get information.
processing properly. Because if you're sitting like this all day and somebody's trying to give you information, you're hearing it, but the processing of it is not there because yeah. one, your spine, which is just like one of these mobile towers mm -hmm. I hear, yeah, is, is leaning, yeah. it's an yeah. antenna. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to ergonomics, how do you set your personal space up so you're not fidgeting all the time, mm -hmm. you know, not paying attention? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the new high school has Ooh. this thing now. If, this, if there's a student that can't hear the teacher mm -hmm. loudly, the teacher has this thing they wear where she's speaking loud enough and the whole, the whole class, class hears. Yes. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's a plus. You yeah. know, there are some of the, uh, the chairs, chairs now. Yeah, they're ergonomically chairs nice. designed. Yeah. So you can sit up straight. So, yeah. There are some students uh, in other schools outside of Trenton where the mm -hmm. children are sitting on those uh, physio balls, stability yes. balls. Yeah. And that allows for proper posture because yeah. other yeah. muscles yeah. are involved. Yeah. Right, you can move a bit more as opposed to sitting like this all day. This destroys yeah. your lower back. It destroys your knees over time. So, so you, ergonomics you like Yes, very important. Yes, those balls are awesome because it allows for your nervous system to be to be developed and freedom of movement. When you're moving, mm -hmm. the way you're grasping information, the way you're intaking information you is different. Than so they're good for stop, they're good yeah. for kids. No, they're good for adults too. Well, we'll, we'll get there. You come to one of my sessions. We'll, we'll get they're it good, good for, for me. They, they will be. You just got to get used to it. Remember, it's something it, it, different at first. It, it, it's something to it, get used it, to. Not only did it make my back feel worse, uh huh, it kept rolling from under me. <laughs> now, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm glad you said that. So what that means is there's other areas you might have to work on to control that. Right. Because now you're saying if it's rolling to the right, what do I have to do with my body to get it to stabilize? That's why it's called the stability ball. Uh -huh. What do I have to do with my body? What other muscles can I use to get this ball stable up under my glutes now one more point mm -hmm. if you're driving in a car mm -hmm. if you use the gps system what happens when you get lost or you make a wrong turn what does your gps system do it mm -hmm. it redirects you. right it, it it doesn't just redirect you mm -hmm. it comes on and tells you <laughs> rerouting rerouting <laughs> yeah. redirecting <laughs> recalibrating right your body works the same way your nervous system is designed to let you know you just hit your big toe mm -hmm. yeah 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 right yeah, you yeah, just yeah, hit your yeah, baby toe yeah. you just hit your funny bone right yeah. Now, what if you didn't get that signal that you just hit something mm -hmm. until hours afterwards and you sit somewhere thinking you peaceful and you just scream out and somebody knows why you're screaming? Right. Something Your wrong. nervous system is supposed to trigger at the moment you sense mm -hmm. a di different direction, right. a different feeling. When it's hot, when it's cold, when it's yeah. a liquid, when it's a, a, a solid, your nervous system works like that. Mm -hmm. So that stability ball helps your muscles reroute, redirect, and get more involved to help you stay stable. It gets your core, your whole core, not just your abs. It gets all of those muscles that you don't think about using you involved you in your body, you involved in your, you that's what makes it mind, body, I, I, Because activism. I sit on one, and my well, doctor told me, don't sit on mine. Well, okay, well, I, maybe I need to talk to your doctor. <laughs> he said, you don't know? sit on it. Okay. Not, that's not, why? It's not good for my spine. Okay. My spine. Okay. Oh, now, 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 or... now, now, everybody's spines are not the same. That's true. Very that true. ball can also make it worse, not better. Yes. So before we, we glorify it, mm -hmm. we need to say, wait a minute, let me go to my doctor and tell him this, what I'm about to do with this ball to see whether it's good for my spine. Okay. That's a good point. That's because why we always we, say get a doctor's advice or get right. a doctor's permission. Because However, everybody is saying, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Um, but have anybody looked at the statistics of how many people who sit on that ball whose spine got worse like so okay. than better? Okay. Well, have we did that? That have we did that investigation? Yes, because um, most of those people who mm -hmm have sat on the balls yes. they haven't done any other type of movement exercise exercise trying to sit on the ball they're just trying to go straight to sit on the ball it's just like a person who says i'm going vegan tomorrow it doesn't work like no, no, that no 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 no, <laughs> no not not in that way okay i'm saying doctors when, they, okay. when stuff like this come doctors, out doctors uh -huh. they, they they tested in different ways uh-huh and they were exercise they was moving okay what type of and movement? still, I, I wasn't there. I don't know. Okay, that. okay, okay. <laughs> now, but I understand I what you're what saying I'm, in a nutshell. You know, yes. So, yes. so when you do that, <laughs> yes, and and you you incorporate that ball with exercise and stuff, and you became worse instead of better. I just, you know, because someone had me sitting morning when yes. I was up at um high school. They said, "Oh no, sit on here, Nikki." I said, "No, I can't sit on that." <laughs> right. And she says, "Oh no, yes, right. you can." I'm right. like, "It's not good for me as an individual." 
right as an it's individual, individual right. and you got to make sure right that that ball is Maybe for you want to make because sure if you already have scoliosis that's that's going to make it I'm a little bit for a few months i want to see you miss mm -mm. all right you ain't gonna hurt me on that ball we, it's, it's not, not just the ball there's other it's things there, there's other I can see him pieces now. of equipment uh -huh. that that override what the ball does we can oh, do yeah? some bear crawls we can do some plank hold now you want me to do no, yes so you gotta see what i'm gonna do is stick to what i've been doing okay. uh-huh i understand <laughs> believe me I i'm gonna stick to I what i've been doing i understand it's like that no it's no i'm like just that. kidding you know i, I'm you. To see I know, you. I know i know and, and then you're gonna turn around Forget the ball. There's a, there's other resistance yeah. bands we can yeah, use. There's right, there's yeah. so much I equipment know, it's, out it's, there it's a lot. and not equipment. My yeah. thing is body weight training. Yeah. yeah. Forget the ball. Yeah. Forget all of that equipment. Let me see how deep you can squat. Let me see oh. how good you can move your shoulder. There oh, are certain I, ways know, I can I'm, tell I'm if a person is going to have issues with their shoulder mm -hmm. just by doing a, what they call the uh, shoulder mobility assessment. I can tell by how far you can put your arm behind your back yeah. if you're eventually going to have issues with your shoulder yeah. over time. Children going to school now. Mm -hmm. School just started, right? These yeah. heavy book bags. Book bags. Yes. yes. Okay. I don't want book bag all the time. Too. <laughs> if you got a, a team, your basketball team, mm -hmm. your star player, he always carried a book bag, and you as a coach, are not checking, yo, what, what, what kind of weight, what kind of books you carrying in that book bag? But every time he's shooting that jumper, you noticing something, his shoulder is dropping. Right. Right. And nobody's checking that through a functional movement screen yeah. that we are certified to do. And we've introduced that to the new Trenton High School. Mm -hmm. These are things that we do in mind body activism. So what I'm to gonna do, I'm, I'm about to challenge you. Yes. Yeah, because I love a challenge. You know, my yes. kids what you challenge me. Right now? I can do shoulder my, 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 right now. My, my, oh, okay. my kids no, it's quick. It's like, oh, okay. it's like my, 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 my kids challenged me, you know, uh -huh. and I ain't lost with them yet. They told me I couldn't run. Okay. And I was running. They told me I couldn't do a push up. I was doing a push up. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, because we have fitness around here. Okay. You know, we get the, we, you know, we, we have this competition <laughs> thing so around okay. here. So okay. I have some kids, you know. Okay. I'm going to have to do this with you, you know. Let's get I'm, it. We're going to have to get my kids. Let's get you it. You know, we'll challenge just you, though. Let's get it. <laughs> and, Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure course. we're going to win. Okay. Um, but uh, well, I hear this, right? <laughs> we're going right. to win. Day and time. <laughs> and we can also create some type of fitness, scholastic fitness challenge where the yeah. children are rewarded. Um, you know, doing yeah. a lot of push-ups. Yeah. We will create yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. We create that. We hear y'all. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me, let me show you something. Yeah, this. Okay, go ahead. Stand up real quick. Well, okay. well just move. Yeah, yeah, stand up. Can they see us if we stand yeah. it up? All right. Okay. All right. What I want you to do is put mm -hmm. both of your arms out to the side. Okay. All right. Now just put your thumb inside of your feet. There you go. Ball that up. Same thing with this hand. All right. Now turn around so your back is facing the camera. Yeah, turn turn, turn the towards me. There you go. Now what I want you to do is mm -hmm. put one hand over like this to the back of your neck and take this hand and go to the bottom like that okay don't need there you go now you see the distance between here and here mm -hmm. that means there are some shoulder issues going on okay now let's do the other arm try to get it as close as you can to that to that hand you okay? Can tell it, yeah. okay okay there's still a bit of distance there okay now if I was the designer, if you can, turn, you can stop, that's good. Okay. That's called a shoulder mobility assessment. Okay, okay. I can tell by how far the distance is between, like watch, mm -hmm. my hair is kind of low. Okay. So I go here and here, look mm -hmm. how close I can get my hand. Right, oh, yeah. right, right, right. right. touch almost. Right. Even me, I work out a lot. Mm -hmm. So I have a bit of mobility issues on this side. Oh, the side. The yeah. Okay. So I already know, I'm always carrying my bag sometimes mm -hmm. on the right shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's how I book shoulder. Exactly. Okay. That's the so book shoulder. that's one assessment. Mm -hmm. um, there are six other assessments that I would give prior to us doing an exercise program. Just to see what you Just to see, see right, where, I, where we need to work on. Okay. A person might have an issue doing squats. So I don't want them in an the exercise program doing jump squats. Jump squats. You know, yeah. a person might have an issue doing what we call a uh, active straight leg raise or mm. an inline lunge. That affects their ankles. Mm. So I won't yeah. have them doing anything that's put more stress that's on their ankles. Ankle. So okay. again, when you think about personal training. What about the knees? What same thing. Know. There's a knee. We, 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 you know, we got, we got, got a problem with knees. Not yeah. that I'm saying I do. <laughs> I'm just saying. A lot of people got problems with the knees thing. You know, it's, you, it's, you was an athlete back in the day. And now all of a sudden you got a knee problem. 
I mean, every once in a while, your knee get to hurt. I'm like, well, what's going on? I mean, not me. Somebody be saying, like, what's that's, that's, that's where that assessment what's comes in. A lot of wear and tear over the yes. years. Yeah, over that's the where years. That's the assessment at. And we'll look at all of that, and yeah. we'll create something for you. We'll design or prescribe. Okay. Okay. Divine, do you prescribe medication? No, I prescribe exercise, exercise as a doctor. Right. So we'll prescribe something for you to get your body back right and to help you move a bit more functionally, okay? Because okay? that's what it's about, moving more functionally throughout your day. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what a real exercise program is supposed to be designed for a person to do. Move okay. Well, All right. and move often. That's a good thing. Listen up, y'all. Y'all better get with him. Hey, y'all have to get with him. Come on, come see him because um, <laughs> just that, just yeah, that, yeah, just that, just quick. that movement. Y'all know we always at the parks. Helling Full Park is like our uh, base too. Right I behind Helling Full Hospital. Right behind, right behind Helling Full Hospital, Heil Avenue. Avenue. Oh, yeah, right yeah, there yeah. along the side. We have okay. our, matter of fact, this Saturday and Sunday, we're starting our 7 a.m. again, our 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. HIT classes, uh, Metafit, High Intensity Interval Training, mm -hmm. and Low Intensity Modified Exercises for Everyone. Mm -hmm. You can call 609-338-2236. Again, that's 609-338-2236. If it's inclement weather, which is not going to be this weekend, mm -hmm. we are always at our base one, our home. Salute to my big brother, Eric O. Jutkins, mm -hmm. master trainer. Uh, at the Ike Williams, the legendary Ike Williams Boxing Academy, right here, 11 New Jersey Avenue. That's base one, our ground zero. And sometimes we're at Cadwater Park. But y'all always see us out there. We on the blocks, we on the field, we getting it in because it's about promoting health and wellness and uh, fitness and exercise and redefining our approach to health and wellness. Social medias? Oh, y'all know. At, yes, that's right. We got that social media stuff, y'all. At NJ Mind Body Activist. That's at NJ Mind Body Activist on Instagram. Facebook is under Divine Allah, but we also have a new page coming called Fit Focus. You can also check us out at mindbodyactivism.com and go on YouTube and check out Bartenders, B A R T E N D A Z, Worldwide <laughs> Innovative Exercise Evolution, y'all. Athletic alchemy, ancestral athletics, and cultural calisthenics. Oh wow! Wow! That's what I'm about. Salute! Wow! That's what yeah, I'm about. and I the definition, y'all. Yeah. Adding effort to daily motion. Interview. That's why I said yeah. this time aside. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes. We got to bring you back with the kids. So oh man, yes. let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, because yes. the kids gonna have some. They gonna have let's some stuff. For you. I had one young oh, lady. She she challenged you on the minute. What? I can't do what? Let's get it. Push up. Oh, I can do a lot of push ups. Let's you get know, it. They, they, they gonna get you. Let's they get gonna it. get you. They we gonna, have we're gonna have for to the put babies called a uh, push up for life. So when yeah. it's ever uh, like the, one of their birthdays is today, if they eight push ups, if they're eight years old, we doing eight push ups for them. Okay. And we have a circle that we get around a person okay. whose birthday is we do yeah, eight push ups. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that'll be good because yeah. uh, we're getting ready to challenge someone. Okay. We get ready to challenge a team. So for him Let's to train us it. before we do that, Let's get it. We, we, we're going to challenge. Oh, yeah, it was, it's not a program, but it's it's a uh, um, I can't say right. um, who we're going to be challenging, but the kids going to we're going to bring them on here to do okay. the challenging and, and my kids going to be tough with it. You know, um, <laughs> nice. and we just hope that they're supposed to be fit. We're going to see if they really nice. fit because okay. we're going to challenge them nice. to a fitness contest nice. and we're going to have it. And, and you know, my kids going to show out and I know they are. I love nice, my kids. Nice, you know, nice. I just remember y'all an apple a day, up. an apple a day, y'all. Yes, uh, yes. And this is organic. <laughs> an apple a day. Salute. Yes. Health yes, is yes, wealth. Yes. Movement is medicine. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yo, it's been always a great pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Always. We build all the time. Give thanks. You know I mean? Yes. We build all the time. Give thanks. I look Supreme forward to seeing um, that program growing in all the schools. In yes. All the districts, yes. You know yes. Because I mean? so, everybody, needs everybody that, adapts it. Yeah. Parents to the kids. I'm saying we need to stay active. We need to stay focused. Mentally and well as physically. That's right. Yes. I mean, um, we here. We are only we on this planet for uh, you know a, a small amount of time. Let's make yeah. the best of it while we're here. Yeah, yeah. that's you right. Know I mean, um, we, you know, it's about the kids. It's always been about the kids. It's always will be about the kids. They are our yeah. future. Yes. You know what I mean, so we got to make sure we invest in them, believe in them, and keep them moving mm -hmm. to towards to a better way of life. You know I mean, better than what we had at yes. least. That's okay. right. Um, so make sure y'all get with Devon. Um, make sure y'all come and visit and, and enroll your kids into the program here at How I Had the Choices. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we got to make this movement now because time yeah. is always of the essence. You yes, never get is. that back. We got and to make this what now? 
You said this movement this now. Movement. Yeah. You hear that? It's, it's speech for itself, it's y'all. You have to move. Yes. Yeah. Um, you're looking for some new podcasts with me and Devon talking about some new podcasts. Matter of fact, and this is the perfect setting. We're gonna tell yes. you about it a little, uh, little bit later. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Salute, um, y'all. Also, don't forget, we will be back with the kids' podcast. I know y'all yes, missing it. We will be back. Yes. I mean, they uh, they took the little, the little summer break and everything, and then yeah. they get back to school, so they got to get you know readjusted. Right. Yes. So once they get readjusted, we had the podcast back on with the kids and everything. Yeah. I know people looking forward to that. I'm always talking about it, so they were like, "Where is that? It's on Facebook. It's, on, friends, it's on YouTube. It's, it's right on right YouTube now. now. On YouTube yes. Channel for the, yes. Uh, for the program we use for the kids. But they'll be podcast. back. They'll definitely be back. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, this Saturday, take my funny bone comedy show. Be back, you know what I'm saying? Open arts pack. Yo, it's gonna be another one. One year anniversary, we'll be celebrating. We've been nice. here running this thing for, for a whole year. Shout out to my um to my man Top Flight, one of the funniest brothers, you know what I'm saying, one of the best hosts in the tri-state area. Mm-hmm. Just holding it down. Uh no, top flight, um from Philly. Okay, top flight. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so he's been holding it down for, for, for a while now, you know what I'm saying? But this year has been a very successful run. And we want to continue on doing this thing. I mean, shout out to everybody supporting. So make sure y'all are in the buildings this Saturday. Mm-hmm. They ain't got no tickets yet. You better get them because it's going to be sold out. You know what I mean? We got my man, um, Chicken George is the headliner. Mm-hmm. Bring, bring my man, uh, Spunky Robinson back. Um, after they cousins. <laughs> so wow. this, is, this is a Florida thing, y'all. So they, they come up from Florida. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they both comedians? Yeah, they both comedians. Nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we got our people's uh, Christina. She's another comedian from uh, originally from Jersey, but she lives out in uh, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. She's coming up. Um, I can't forget Marcia Mello, you know I'm saying, poet. She's going to be able to show up for us. I mean, she's going to have some words of wisdom, you know I'm saying, dropping the jewels on everybody. Mm-hmm. And of course, my man, Top Flight, going to be there hosting the, hosting the joint. Um, my wife is going to be there kitchen, in the kitchen with the food, y'all. You know I'm saying, we're going to you know, come out. Make sure y'all uh, enjoy yourselves. You know, make sure y'all can eat well. Be well. I can't see it on camera. But y'all know the deal as far as everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put everything out on, on there. But so this Saturday, of course, yeah. open arts pep. You know what I'm saying? Taking my funny bone comedy show. Make sure y'all, y'all get your tickets, get them online. You know what I mean? Uh, Eventbrite or hit me or um, hit up the um, Renaissance Barbershop out in North Chain mm-hmm. on Brunswick Avenue for your for tickets. Get them soon. Get them now. Because if not, you'll be paying either extra at the door or you won't be able to get them because they'll be sold out. <laughs> and what time is that? This is Saturday. Doors open at six, show start at seven. Okay. Um, okay. So you got enough time early in the day to come get your workout on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, feeling man. right, y'all. That's right. You know what I mean? To come at the Telling full time. park. Yeah. Relax and have some laughs afterwards. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Wine and physical at the same time. You got to yes. laugh. Gotta That's smile. right. You know yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yes. life. Enjoy yes. life. That's yeah. all about. You know what I mean? So once again, I'm a quick shout outs, shout outs, shout outs, shout outs. Okay. Salute yeah. mind body activism. Everybody getting it in bartenders, team definition. Uh, Ms. Grady, Mercer County VIP program, <laughs> Sister Stephanie, Brother Vashon, uh, everybody, everybody, y'all. Let's get it, let's get it. My brother Solomon O, Ike Williams Boxing Academy, Trent Make Champions. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. I want to shout out to all my kids. I know you guys are doing well. Um, I love my kids. I want to <laughs> shout out to all my parents who supports me, who supports Howard Healthy Choices, all the staff, to the board that support Howard Healthy Choices, and to um, a young lady named Heidi from Hopewell. She's been supporting me from day one. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And I want to give her a big shout out um, just to send my love and uh, just get ready. Howard Healthy Choices have something that we're getting ready to do. Mm-hmm. So just get ready. Look for it. I can't say too much about it right now, um, but the kids got something up their sleeves. Okay. That's all I can say. The kids got something up their sleeves. Yes. Yep. And yep. Um, also here, I have, have how we have the choices. We do accept donations. Yes, we do. Times. Yes. Uh, it doesn't always have to be money. No. You know what I mean, matter of fact, we're looking for exercise mats. Um, we need more of exercise mats. When the kids are doing their um, uh, waters, yeah, we need um, waters, fruits yeah, and fruits, I'm yeah, apples. definitely fruits. And, I mean, and healthy foods. I mean, I'll donate a bunch of bags of organic, organic apples. apples. And, yeah, yeah. So, the yeah, kids love about, that. Like I say, yeah. once again, it's all about supporting these kids and believing in them. Yes. You know what I'm saying, make sure they're on the right paths. Yes, because it's easy to go the, the wrong way. That's right. Yes. We all know that. We all yes. Yep. The people's been on that path, and you know I'm saying, and figure it's hard to get back. Yeah. So let's let's get really started. 
from the door, the door. the right way. Right? Yes. And we don't have to go through those challenges. You know what I mean? And look forward to the trips that we're going to start doing on Saturdays with the kids. Right. Um, it's going to be balancing them out. Mm -hmm. um, they work hard all week. Right. It's like a parent. You want to go play? Kids want to go play That's too. It. That's right. So we want to be able to balance them out. So look forward to that. We're putting together a bunch of trips now. When the kids have off, call me up. They off for a week, call me up. Don't leave them in the house. Call me up. You see how that works? We'll be able to open up the gym. You can always bring them for some boxing, boxing. lessons. Yes. Mm -hmm. can. Yes. You can always bring them to a nice uh, exercise session. session. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So see yes. how that works? See, hand in hand. Yeah. It goes yeah. hand yeah. in hand. It's it goes hand in thing. hand. It's a community. You ain't got to go far out of your city. Yes. Trip. That's no. right. Go right to another institution in the area. Yes. Yes. Okay. We support yes. our own gotcha. in our city. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we do. And got to be yes. a team. got to be a unit. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, we do. Shout out to Zula always to my man, Blessed Child. Mm-hmm. I'm sponsoring the uh the blog talk radio uh stressed out radio um shout out to everybody that always view on this checking us out i'm saying watching yes. the videos the thousands and thousands of views we've been getting over the years yes. and i mean um of course shout out my wife because she always say i don't get a shout out to yes her. but you know the thing is though she never watched it anyway <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out her anyway. out yeah. anyway <laughs> shout out anyway i love you baby uh shout out to, to, to my boys uh, all y'all all, all, all the kids <laughs> and everything the family love everybody and don't forget listen this weekend, take my funny bone comedy show. We back at it. You know what I'm saying? The, it's, it's, yeah. it's undeniable. It's undeniable. The hottest comedy show that's out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so make sure y'all get y'all tickets. Yeah. They are selling fast. You know I mean, people hit me already. Let me get six. Let me get seven. Let me, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. make sure y'all get y'all tickets. So, on that note, it's your boy Just, Global yeah. Unlimited Podcast. My man Devon, Miss Howard. We out. Peace. Peace. Salute, y'all. <laughs> Health is wealth, movement is medicine. Yes. That's yes. That's right.